Tuesday night was senior night at the Frank Irwin Center as Adrienne Karanga Drew, Ariel Atkins, and Brooke McCarty took the court for the final time in regular season play. McCarty got off to a fast start, finishing with 17 points and four assists. She's still quarterback in the basketball team. She runs the show. She establishes pace. She gets them organized. She keeps them from panicking. And uh, now she's back to hitting that floater, and um, that's a problem for folks. It was an extra special night for Brooke McCarty, whose grandma came out and sang the national anthem prior to the game. Um, she did that for my senior night in high school, so I kind of thought that she was going to do it tonight, but I didn't really know. But it's just there's a lot of emotions that go into senior night, but it was easy just to transfer that onto the court and just play with my teammates and get them going. Atkins, who was named first team All Big 12 on Wednesday alongside McCarty, received high praise from Coach Cole. Um, Ariel Atkins, I, I told her, man, I, I toyed with sending you flowers today because your career is almost over and I'm glad that I won't have to come to Austin and play you anymore. I just think she's phenomenal. This senior class, who is on their way to a fourth straight tournament berth, is one of the best in Texas basketball history and will be tough to replace. It'll, it'll, it'll be a little different when we walk out on the floor this spring and they're off somewhere else. It'll be a little different, not just for me and the coaches, but it'll be different for their own teammates, I think. But it's part of what they came here for was to make Texas better. Um, unbelievable time coaching these guys, and I'm really proud of them. I'm proud they could go out the way they did today. The Horns finished the regular season with a record of 24-5 and head to Oklahoma City for the Big 12 tournament.